Today we will talk about solubility enhancement by co-solvent. Co-solvent is a second solvent added in small quantities to enhance the solvent power of the primary solvent. This secondary solvent should be both miscible with water and in which the material to be dissolved is also soluble. Often, the solubility in this mixed system is greater than can be predicted from the material solubility in each individual solvent. The choice of suitable co-solvents for pharmaceutical use is limited because of possible toxicity and irritancy, especially if required for oral or parenteral use. Ideally, suitable blended should possess values of dielectric constant between 25 and 80. The most widely used system that will cover this range is water ethanol blend. Sorbitol, glycerol, propylene glycol, and syrup can also be used with water. For example, paracetamol is formulated as an elixir by the use of alcohol, propylene glycol, and syrup. And for external application to the scalp, betamethasone valerate is available dissolved in water isopropyl alcohol mixture. The choice of a good solvent is usually based on the like dissolves like principle. That is, the solute dissolves best. So, consider the forces of attraction between solute and solvent molecules, one of the three conditions will arise. First, if the solvent-solvent force of attraction is larger than solvent-solute force of attraction, the solvent molecules will be attracted to each other and form aggregations from which the solute is excluded. Second, if the solute-solute force of attraction is larger than solvent-solvent force of attraction, the solute crystals are held together by strong forces, which cannot be broken by solvent. And the conducting solvent would be required to overcome the attraction between solute molecules. And lastly, if the solvent-solute force of attraction is larger than solvent-solvent or solute-solute force of attraction, the solute will disperse and form a solution. Now, to determine the solubility of a solute, a saturated solution is obtained by stirring excess powdered solute enough to supersaturate the solution with solvent for several hours at the required temperature until equilibrium has been attained or by warming the solvent with an excess of the solute and allowing the mixture to cool to the required temperature. Then a sample of the saturated solution is obtained for analysis by separating it from the undissolved solid. Filtration is usually used, but precautions should be taken to ensure that it's carried out at the temperature of the solubility determination, and loss of volatile components does not occur. The sample can be analyzed by a variety of methods, such as a gravimetric or volumetric analysis, electrical conductivity measurements, UV spectrophotometry, or chromatographic methods. In our experiment, we are going to determine the solubility of salicylic acid with and without ethanol as a co-solvent. By preparing supersaturated solutions of salicylic acid in hydroethanolic mixture with different ethanol concentrations. And after equilibrium is attained, samples will be filtered by gravity filtration and analyzed by UV spectrophotometry to determine the solubility of salicylic acid. Thank you for listening.